It's Tom and Todd's Face Off on WRKO.com. We are in the monsoon season of Massachusetts. Non-stop rain, but non-stop fun here on Face Off. Tom and Todd, WRKO.com. Now that Mike Huckabee is out and Donald Trump has stepped aside, who is the presidential frontrunner of the GOP? I would have to say right now, this is Tim Pawlenty, not an exciting candidate, uh, and Mitch Daniels could become a little bit of Mr. Excitement, but the beauty of these two guys is they're the perfect antidote to President Barack Obama. That's kind of the sizzle Boring, and the charismatic unslick, and blah, blah, blah. All teleprompter and qualified these guys, for the job. White, middle class, slow. Not, you know, not Dull. slow like that. Yeah, like that. But uh, you know what I mean. Never spoken to more than 100 people, forget about 100,000. Yeah, they're totally different features. I don't think there's a front runner, though. And I think uh, everyone's confused about this race because the media keeps looking at it through this lens that isn't realistic. This is not an open seat with people all charged up getting in early. It's a wait around, see how the politics develops kind of race, and it's going to take a while. Relax. We'll have a front runner when we have a front runner. Todd's right. It'll take some time. We know one thing Charlie Sheen is not in the lead. Not yet. In a matter of 24 hours, Newt Gingrich said he was for an individual mandate regarding health care and against an individual mandate. Is he a serious threat for anyone in the GOP field? I think Newt may be onto a new business model for being a politician. You remember Barack Obama, the keystone of his candidacy was to have no history of having voted for anything, believing in anything, or having worked in anything. As a matter of fact, if you listen to him talk, everybody thought he believed what they believed. Now, Newt's taking a different approach. He believes both sides of the issue. He's for everything. That covers a lot of territory, he's doesn't for, it? He's for everything. It is hard to take Newt Gingrich seriously. He's actually a fairly bright guy. Very But smart. he has been incredibly inconsistent, not just on the individual mandate, on Libya. He's on again, he's off again. He starts making John Kerry, the legendary flip-flopper, look pretty consistent. Yeah, no, there's a problem with being too smart, and that is you confuse yourself. One in five American voters think that Osama bin Laden is still alive. Why do you think that is? This is one of the great insanities of contemporary America. It's somewhere around that figure, maybe even larger, think that the American, the United States government was in on the destruction of the Twin Towers. That somehow or other, a couple of inside people in the White House blew it up because Bush was having trouble in his polls or something like that, and they needed a little distraction. This is absolute insanity. You know, I understand that uh, candidates will quibble around and manipulate statistics, but they don't tell these mammoth, gargantuan lies that they have 20% of the American population. Wow, Looney Tunes playing out right in front of us. I find it disturbing that 80% of the American population would believe anything we're told by the president and the power structure. But we can take solace in this. 20% is just the starting number. It will be growing, and it will be probably a majority within a year who don't believe that Osama bin Laden is dead. And that's the healthier attitude. I'm not saying he isn't dead. I'm just saying, if you watch the president listen to what he says, everything is a misrepresentation, a deception, or an outright lie. And if that's what he's doing with the little stuff and the medium stuff and the policy stuff, well, why do you trust the big I'm stuff? I'm with Navy Team 6. The SEALs got them. That's it for this face-off. We'll have more coming your way. Keep checking back to WRKO.com.